Hello again, my name is Boaz Faraday Schumann. I am here in Hungary in Budapest for the International Conference on the Theology and the Metaphysics of the Eucharist. And I'm joined today by David Twetton, who's one of our uh, presenters, who you presented very early on in the conference. I and, did. Mm -hmm. um, we're just here to talk about some of our impressions of Fantastic. Uh, the conference, Budapest in general. So where would you like to begin? How, how are you finding it so far? Oh my gosh, this is one of the high points of my uh, academic career. I, I find that Budapest is a city like Prague, one of the most rich cities that seems a little bit uh, untrammeled mm -hmm. compared to uh, my normal haunts of Paris, Rome, maybe London, where my wife likes to go. But I'm going to convince her to come back here. It's really, really special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is some. I, I think I, I know exactly what you're saying when you say it doesn't feel too. It feels very natural, you know. Um, and I, yeah, the history is incredible. So right here, by our hotel, we you know, and we went uh, uh, two blocks, and we have Roman ruins from. Uh, well, we know the Romans were here in uh, the August with Augusta, uh, Augustus. And the Roman ruins, well, I guess there was some debate about exactly what, what date the amphitheater uh, stems from, but uh, marvelous to appreciate that, that, that Obuda was the old city, the Roman city, uh, and uh, two amphitheaters, fantastic. And, and in some cases, remarkably well preserved, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And it's a really a striking right backdrop. Right in the hotel, there's a, there, there, uh, there, there is our stones from the Romans. Yes. Yeah, I saw these, and, and it's part a, of the path to the hotel. Yeah, we, we worked on them yesterday, and it's a really striking backdrop for a conference like this that's so oriented toward history, you that's know, right. and, toward, right. uh, and toward and uh, toward this confluence of different well, I'm cultures. So, and so, so grateful so. that the uh, um, uh, well, I would say I, I'm ignorant, but government authorities support the uh, intellectual research of uh, great, serious scholars. Uh, uh, so when you get one, uh, then you get a team from around the world, and that's something special. And I hope that my university can return the favor and invite uh, folks from uh, Hungary to uh, to lecture in our university. That would be that would really be something. Yeah. So let's talk about the lectures in the conference generally. What what are some impressions, general impressions, or specific that you're taking away from this? I know there's some things that have really stuck with me that I'm going to be you know, chewing on, ruminating on for some time now. Well, I think uh, one thing I look for in a conference is the quality of the work, the quality of the people who are part of it, and then the uh, maybe the uh, arrangement of the themes and the. Uh, mm -hmm. So when you go to a big, huge conference and uh, it's just you know philosophy, you know, and so you have to pick a session here and there. But this is so wonderful to have. Uh, research is selected uh, by uh, uh, Dr. Klima and uh, Dr. Purcell, and and uh, right away you have elite uh, an elite group of scholars and some up and coming young scholars, and uh, there's a kind of enthusiasm, there's a focus. It's really special, and so that's the sort of conference I want to attend. Not uh, not not a sort of anonymous conference where you know, I'm putting my name in a hat, and yes, I, I don't know what I, kind of reaction I, I, I've gotten. Uh, so, for example, I had three people in my session say that was the clearest paper I've ever heard, and, and uh, you know, usually I have people walking away and saying that was just all just mud. I didn't understand anything. So, yeah. so that's a really valuable uh, research experience, and will promote scholarly connections in the future. And, uh, yeah, I. I, the the, uh, the more senior scholars can can encourage the the younger, yeah, and the younger uh, provide enthusiasm to keep the, uh, the, the older to to reassure the uh, older generation that that there's life yeah. <laughs> to come. Yeah, you know, it's a real symbiosis. I was going to say I agree with you. I'd say that sometimes some conferences feel like Academy Award winning films. And some conferences feel like overcrowded food courts at a mall, <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is certainly in the Academy Award kind of column. Um, but yeah, I, I agree right. with you. It has a, a remarkable cogency and... and um, well, I'm just waiting for the Institute to invite me to be a, uh, a semester for a research uh, program, research scholarship. That would be fantastic in, in, in Hungary. But that's okay if it doesn't happen. I'll, well, well, I'll cross I'll my fingers way, for I'll, you. I'll find a way back anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Well, I uh, I certainly will too. Is this your first time here in this Budapest? My first time okay, me too. Yeah. So this is uh, my first exposure to it. It's really it's well, excellent. I, for me, it's, it's amazing. A dream. And and to be honest, uh, uh, I I believe that Jula Klima is the greatest philosopher of our age. And I'm not kidding that. I've been say, saying that to many people. I even said it to him and. And uh, I've been saying that for the last 10, 15 years. And so to appreciate the uh, milieu in which he uh, uh, grew up and uh, arrived at his uh, wisdom <laughs> mm -hmm. is uh, something special. And yeah. that's Hungary. And you can see the richness, uh, Dr. Purcell, the richness of the intellectual life. I don't think there are many places in Europe where you have that kind of concentration yeah, when you go to Paris, you know, there's scholars here and there, but they're not, they're disorganized. They're not in a, in a, in a place together where they can talk and with peace. And uh, it's a really special environment. I have, I have to say it's opened my eyes and I recommend to you, Boaz, oh, that you. you take a job here in, in Hungary if you can get <laughs> wow. one. You know, this well, is really pretty nice, you know. I'll keep my eyes open. But um, I do think, I, I agree with you, like, Jula, for me, it's also interesting seeing that there are a lot of people here whom he's influenced in the sense that, um, like I studied Buridan, Buridan's and Buridan's logic, as right, you know, right. and um, if it weren't, I mean, it was really his work on Buridan, especially the Sumale translation that That's he produced, okay. that was what pr first put me onto it. And so wow. I showed it to him actually. Uh, the, the I bought it new, the translation that he produced, and um, and now it's completely falling apart. I mean, it, the boards <laughs> you, aren't you even held it, together. It's yeah. been everywhere with me for years. Yeah. So. Um, and you were telling me at lunch that you're now inspired by his example. You're yourself translating uh, Burden's uh, commentary in the metaphysics, which is a massive project, and yeah, for someone yes, without is. government support, you know. But you're inspired by his yeah. his his work and how this communicated uh, uh, one of the most important philosophers in the Middle Ages, uh, who was more or less unknown, you yeah. know, before. Uh, yeah, before well, it the means last there's work to years. do. You know, yeah. it's exciting. It's an exciting position yeah. to be in. But yeah. um, well, thank you. Yeah. For thank this. you.